Hao Xiang Yong from Xi'an Jiaotong University. The title of his presentation is Community Detection for Clustered Attributed Graphs via a Variational EM Algorithm. Okay, let's welcome for his presentation. Okay, hello everyone. Um, it's great on honor for me to stand here, here to give my presentation. My name is Xiang Yong Tao. I'm a PhD student at Xi'an Jiaotong University. And today my topic is community detection for connector attribute graphs via a versional EM algorithm. This work is joined with Dr. Xiang Yichang and Professor Zhong Bunxu. And uh, my talk consists of five parts. First is backgrounds, then motivations, then, <coughs> then introduce my, my algorithm, and so on. Uh, first, I, I introduce the backgrounds. And first, I want to introduce uh, what is community detection for graphs. Community, community detection for graphs is to divide the vertices of a graph into groups so that there is a higher density of edges within groups than between them. And the, and the existing methods for community detection for graphs have hierarchical clustering, normalized cuts, and modularity, and stochastical form model, and so on. And all, all these methods have a drawback that um, they only consider the topological structure and ignore the attributes of, of, of the graph. And among these methods, only the stochastical form model is the generative models, and we can use a versional method to fit it. And after we introduce the community detection for general graphs, we introduce the community detection for attributed graphs. And what is attributed graph? Attribu attributed graph is a graph that each vertex is associated with some uh, attributes. And uh, the existing method for community detection for attributed graphs uh, are divided into two classes. Um, distance-based approaches and modern-based approaches. For the modern-based approaches, we consider the extended scalable model and the clustered attributed graph model. And in our paper, we only focus on clustered attributed graph model, the CH model. And next, I introduce the CH model. And uh, the CH model is proposed by Xu and his colleagues. And, and this model, uh, now, now I will introduce it. And this model G is a an, an directed attributed graph with n vertices, co-groups. Co, co is given in advance. And to describe the graph, first, uh, to describe the first, we describe the edge connection. We use a, a G matrix X to describe it, and uh, we assume that X I J condition the neighbor of I and J obey the Bernoulli distribution. To describe the attributes of the vertices, we use a p-dimensional vector yi and uh, assume that the element of yi obeys the multinomial distribution. And to describe the group label, we use a variable zi and uh, assume that zi obeys the multinomial distribution. And uh, given zi and x is counted, x is independent of y. And the, and the graphical representation of the CH model is summer, summer, summer in figure one. Um, X, X, I, J, Y, I, Z, Z, I are variables. And uh, alpha, pi, theta are per parameters. And after she proposed the model, he first proposed a version of BSEM to, act, to handle this uh, model. And this algorithm consists of two steps. First is version of, version of BSE step. In this step, they update the posterior ring of each vertex. And the next is the M step. In M step, he updates the versional parameters. And then re repeat the E step and M step until convergence. And our motivation is that uh, both versional BSEM and versional EM are used to fit the 
original stochastic form model and they achieve almost the same performance. The second is that fitting the CH model by WBEM is extremely large number of parameters. And this brings a high computational complexity. That's why, based on these two motivations, we propose a versional EM algorithm. And next, I'll introduce the algorithm. Yeah. This algorithm treats each parameter as they are. And then we use the maximum likelihood estimation to estimate the parameters. But, but this, this, um, but this maximum optimization can't be handled by the EM algorithm. So we, you, you, because in the EM algorithm we should uh, write, write the posterior distribution, but we can't, can't write it out. So we use a conversional so we use the variational distribution RZ to uh, op op approximate the uh, posterior distribution and uh, to op op approximate the distribution we, we use the, we minimize the KL divergence between RZ and the PZ condition XY but this, this minimum optimization is intractable and uh, we, we also observe that KL divergence, KL divergence plus L tilde equals a constant. So minimize KL divergence is equal to maximize L tilde. So our goal is to maximize the L tilde. Also, L tilde has two terms. Both of the terms can, can, has, um, can be written out. <coughs> to, to maximize the L tilde, we have two steps. First is E steps. E step we fix the parameter alpha pi theta and update the posterior distribution. And uh, next is M step. In M step we fix tau and update alpha pi theta. And uh, that's we 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 get the three equations. And then we repeat E step, M step, and uh, until convergence. And uh, compare with the original variation BS EM algorithm, our original EM algorithm has two contributions. The first is that we reduce the number of parameters to face the model. And the number of, com and the number of par parameters is summarized in table one. The top is the WBEM and the, the button is WEM. And from the table, we can see that compared with the WBEM, our WEM reduce the number of param parameter by Q times Q plus one, half plus QP plus one. Uh, the next, uh, we have another contribution, and uh, based on the original EM framework, where we propose a modern selection criterion to select the number of group group. And uh, for our original EM algorithm, our ICO criteria is first is the joint distribution, and uh, and the, the second term is patternize the parameter of alpha, and the, the third third term is patternize the the parameter pi, and the, the fourth param, fourth term is patternize uh, the par, par parameter theta, <coughs> and this criteria is similar to the BIC and AIC, and if you are interested in the proof, you can you can see my paper. And the next is the ex experimental study. And first is simu simu simulation design. We generate an uh, attributed graph as following. First, we draw group neighbor Z from a much normal distribution. And then given the group neighbor Z, we draw a gene matrix X from the Baroni distribution and then draw an attribute matrix Y for much normal distribution. And uh, for, for the simulation, we consider two cases of experimental settings. Um, first is case one, next is case two. For each case, we sim simulated 500 graphs. Um, to evaluate the performance of, of both variation BS and variation EM, we use three criteria. The first is a classification error rate. 
And next is modularity. Modularity is used to measure the uh, group structure detected by the algorithm. And if the modularity is larger than 0 0.3, and, and it means that the graph uh, exists uh, an over structure. <coughs> and next is entropy. Entropy is used to measure the constancy of the attributes within groups. And uh, next is the, is the results of simulation, simulation one. And, uh, and this, this, this uh, simulation one displays uh, uh, the results of the accuracy of the per parameter esti estimate of, of both methods. The top is case one, button is case two. Uh, from, from, from the table, we, we can see that both VBEM and VEM can achieve almost the same performance in parameter esti estimation. After we compare the parameter estimation, we use the three criteria to, to compare the results. Uh, CER, linearity, and entropy. And uh, for both methods, they, they almost achieve the same performance. Uh, uh, in simulation one, we just fix the graph set N as a constant 100. Uh, in simulation two, we change the graph set N from 100 to 3000. Uh, and, uh, and, and we can see from the figure that uh, blue is the VEM and the red is VBEM. We can see that uh, when the graph set N is larger than 105, 1,500, the VBEM failed to detect the group structure, but the VEM can still detect the structure. So we, we, so we conclude that uh, the VEM uh, has the potential to get a more robust estimate. And uh, the simula simulation three, we design a uh, experiment to validate the model selection criteria. And, uh, and we, 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 we use, uh, we, we, we design the experiment to use the true group, group, group Q equals two. And uh, for, for, for each graph size, we simulate 100 graphs. And we can see from the table that when the graph size is larger than 500, and uh, the ICL criteria can correctly select the num number of groups. Uh, for example, when n is uh, equals 500, uh, in the 100 times, we, we select correctly 55 times. Um, after simulations, we use um, real data uh, political block to to compare both method. And the politi political block contains 1,419 blocks and 19,019 web links in total. And uh, each block uh, has the leanings uh, uh, liberal and conservative. And we regard this leanings as, as its attribute. So, so, so P is equal to one, only one attribute. And uh, we use the uh, three criteria to compare the performance. Uh, we, we can see that uh, the blue is the uh, VEM and the red is VBEM. We can see from, from the figure that uh, the VEM um, performs better than, than VBEM. It has uh, higher polynarity and uh, lower entropy and lower CR, and the time cost is almost the same. And, and to, to, uh, to validate that the VEM has higher modularity, we gave a specific example. Uh, and in this example, the left is the structure detected by the VBEM, and right is the st structure detected by the VEM. From the, from the negative, from the figure, we can see that the structure detected by the VEM is more gathered. 
So, so, so it validates that the, the modularity of, of the VEM is higher than the uh, modularity of the VBEM. Okay. Next, next is the capability. Uh, compared with the VBEM, our VBEM um, can reduce the number of parameters. And based uh, on the VBEM framework, we can propose the modern selection criteria. And, uh, and the, the VBEM um, per performs almost the same in the signatures. And even out outperforms the VBEM on, on the real data. That's all. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for your presentation.